guys. Uh, we're coming to you from DrupalCon Portland 2013. I'm here with Nick. And uh, Nick, who is it that you just interviewed? Just to interview you, Jonathan Snook, who is one of the masters of cascading style sheet CSS and front end web development. Let's go. We're here with Jonathan Snook, who is uh, on Twitter, Snook CA. Snook CA, yes. Uh, and uh, smacks.com, which is uh, scalable, scalable and modular architecture for CSS. Now, Jonathan, you, uh, you are an evangelist, essentially, of, um, of uh, applying systems, a systems approach to style sheets. Yes. And uh, we, as, uh, in, our, in our company, you know, our front-end front -end developers are head deep in, in CSS, and we're often uh, fighting and battling with the back-end developers on uh, the complexity of it. They don't see how difficult, how important is it, it is. And, and from your point of view, how important is uh, modularity and, and, and uh, how, how important is architecture and organization for CSS? Well, I think anybody that has done back-end development knows that any kind of architecture is important. If you can imagine uh, trying to build a site today and just like one big huge file, uh, you know, that would just be insane, right? You know, we, we've seen this at, at a number of different levels, and I think it's just uh, the maturity within the industry to recognize that, you know, CSS is just as important. Um, you know, it ties into everything else, and so that, you know, we can separate those concerns if we're looking at, you know, how Drupal might separate things or whatever MVC framework you might be using, how they separate things. From a CSS perspective, it's very much the same thing. How do we separate things in a way that just makes everything a lot easier to use together? So your, your presentation here at DrupalCon, you essentially touched on three things. Base, uh, forgive me. So we had categorization. Categorization. Uh, we had naming convention yeah. and decoupling HTML from CSS, which sounds a little weird, but it worked out, I think. So essentially, um, and, and Drupal, Drupal 8 is going to be applying the SMACS approach yes, for CSS. I think it's awesome. What does that mean for, for SMACS? What does it mean for, for Jonathan Snook? And what does it mean for Drupal? Uh, well, I think that, uh, again, you know, kind of understanding that this, this modular approach, this naming convention, um, you know, when we, we think to a, a deeper level as to why we're writing the CSS, how we're writing the CSS, and then recognizing that, you know, taking those concepts and applying them to Drupal should hopefully mean that as a Drupal developer, somebody working on a Drupal project, uh, we'll just have a, a better understanding of how the CSS is tying everything together, how the, the naming convention is making things clear, not only from a front-end perspective as a front-end developer, but possibly as a back-end developer as well. So you don't want your CSS to show up on an episode of Hoarders. <laughs> Jonathan, thank you so much. Pleasure, thank you. you got to meet one of your heroes. Jonathan Snook is absolutely amazing, Stan. You know what's, what's, what's great is we've been able to apply his approach, and we are, we are continuing to apply his approach to all of our projects at JVS International. When is the next exhibition, <laughs> All right, great. So keep on coming back for more videos from DrupalCon Portland.